So a lot of you guys said to me, oh yeah, Erica, we saw your Publix video and we saw how you got overage money back at Publix, but try doing that at Walmart. Well, guess what? I'm at Walmart. I'm gonna show you today how you can get the same overage at Walmart. Now, they don't give you cash back and they definitely don't give it to you on a gift card. But what they will allow is for you to use your overage to apply to your other groceries. So let's say you buy something for $5 and the coupon is take six dollars off well you just made a dollar and you can use that dollar to buy some chips or whatever else you wanted for a dollar so they're not going to give you cash and they're not going to give you a gift card but you still can make the money and use it to buy something else i'm at walmart i'm gonna see what i can get let's see if we can find anything okay guys so i'm here at walmart of course and i'm looking around for clearance things now i see a lot of name brands i see tresemme pantene and a lot of things like that but the only coupons i bought in today oh there's also Colgate at the top, and there's a lot of makeup, but the only coupons I brought in today were for um, P&G items like Herbal Essences, Old Spice, and I left my Pantene coupons in the car because I was specifically looking for certain brands, but if you're checking out the clearance section at your Walmart, you might want to get coupons ready for some of these brands. Now, I'm going to teach you guys an incredible trick today to where anybody can look up clearance super, super fast, but... While we're here, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually make money at Walmart to pay for the rest of your groceries. Now, I went ahead and scanned these herbal essences on the Walmart app. Now, I showed you guys how to do that a few videos back. So if you don't know, make sure you go back to that video and learn how to scan in store. And I might do some of that later on in the video if you're still looking forward to seeing how that happens. But I scanned these purple herbal essences and they're coming up for $1.50 each. That's even cheaper than that clearance tag is telling us. $4.50? No way. I scanned them and they're coming up for $1.50. Always scan your clearance. It's definitely going to be cheaper. At least 50% of the time something will be tagged one price and it'll scan for another so these actually ring up a dollar fifty each and guess what we have a five dollar off coupon for five dollars off when you buy two so guess what if I buy two that's only three dollars and I'm still gonna get five dollars off so I just made two dollars so I also had my eye on this Old Spice. The clearance tag says four dollars, but I scanned it on the Walmart app and it actually rang up for only one dollar. So I'm gonna grab this too. Now it won't be a money maker, but check this out. We have a one dollar off coupon that makes this free. So that is a great deal. It's ringing up for a dollar. The coupon will make it free, so I'm definitely going to get this. So between my herbal essences, I'll be making two dollars with that, and with this one, it'll be absolutely free. Now these are all the products that they had that I actually had coupons for. But if you see anything that you have coupons for, like the Pantene, would have been a great deal. But I left my coupons in the car, and I'm not walking all the way back through a long Walmart parking lot just to go grab my coupons. But Guys, if you have your coupons when you go to the store, scan, 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 and just be ready. You never know what you're going to find, and you never know how much it's going to cost until you scan it. Okay, guys, so this is what I have in my cart so far. Just the two herbal essences and just the one Old Spice. But since I'm going to be making $2, I have to find something to fill up that overage because, like I said before, they do not give cash back, and they don't give it back on a gift card. So I have to find some type of way to spend it. So I'm going to walk around a little bit and see what I'm going to spend my $2 on. Okay guys, so this is crazy. I was thinking, why not come back to the clearance section and use the $2 I'm getting back to spend on more clearance. So then my eyes immediately came to the L'Oreal Everpure. Now, they're marked for $2 on clearance and we have a $2 back, I bought a rebate. I'm gonna scan them to see if they're really $2 or not. So let's see together if they're $2. Oh, oh my gosh, they're only $1 in the store. So, wait a minute, is that really? Wow, they're only $1 and Ibotta is still going to give me back $2? Oh my gosh, I was trying to spend the money that I'm going to make from the Herbal Essences and now I'm making more money. So now my total is up to $3 made. And Ibotta says I can do it twice. So now I'm up to $4 profit. I was trying to spend it, but I don't know. Now I'm making money. But you know what? With the $2 that I'm making with my Herbal Essences... I think I'm going to just, with the $2 that I'm going to make right here with the Herbal Essences, I think I'm going to use that $2 at the register to pay for these bad boys. And then when I submit my receipt to Ibotta, then I'll just end up getting that 
four dollars right back oh my gosh guys this is a four dollar money maker oh my gosh i'm trying to explain it since i'm kind of in a scanning mood now after scanning that i'm pretty excited so i kind of want to show you guys what this scans at just so you'll kind of know for yourself what i'm saying see it's actually scanning for 150 in this store okay and like i said before in a previous video make sure it's always set to in this store because if it's set to walmart.com you're gonna get a different price see online it's 341 but your store will show you if they have it on clearance or not and then the old spice just so you guys will believe me because there's every there's always going to be somebody who's going to say oh there's no way that was on sale so let's check one dollar in this store and let's see how much this would have been on walmart.com 4.97 so in this store the old spice is only one dollar i told you that but you know somebody's out there saying that's not true there's no way that can be true but you just saw it for yourself okay so i'm headed to the line with my few little things and we'll see exactly how much my total comes out to be hopefully it won't be too much hopefully it shouldn't be anything maybe just tax because the old spice is free with this one dollar coupon the herbal essences are free with the five dollar coupon there's two dollars left over and that should cover each of these and i'm thinking i'll only pay tax but like i said after i submit my receipt to ibotta i should be getting four dollars back so this should be a four dollar money maker but we'll see i'm optimistic i hope everything works out okay but i just i want to show you guys that just like i did this at Publix, you can totally do this at walmart Okay, they don't give you cash back or a gift card, but they do let you use your coupons and their policy is clear. Okay, so if you want to see their policy, click the link in the description box below. But hopefully this goes well. I only have two coupons and I do just kind of plan on getting that money back in a rebate from Ibotta. So this should be a $4 money maker. Let's see how it goes. Hi, good. Thank you. It's already off to a great start. I just got a super awesome greeting. I love when that happens. So somebody was saying on my other video that when I talk in front of cashiers, it has to be planned. I'm just a outgoing person, so I do a lot of talking. I can't help it. I talk a lot. Okay, so my total is six forty-two. What's my total before tax? Oh, great. Okay, so the tax was the forty-two cents. So I have six dollars in coupons. Let's see how this works out. That was perfect guys if it works out how it's supposed to i should only pay 42 cents so far so good 42 cents is my final total guys that was awesome we did great i was about to put you guys inside of my purse while i look for my card i guess that's a bad idea okay guys so everything went perfectly i paid my 42 cents thank you so much you too everything went great not only was i greeted awesomely by the cashier she was so nice she didn't give me any problems at all and she had a perfect attitude i got all of my stuff my total came out to six dollars even before tax yeah my total came out to six dollars even before tax the tax florida tax for me was 42 cents your tax may be different if you plan on doing a deal like this so i paid 42 cents out of pocket but listen i'm gonna go on ibotta and i'll be getting four dollars back in a rebate so let's check that out on my ibotta and see how that works out this is what my walmart looks like guys meanwhile i brought tiffany with me to the store and she just spent 21 dollars and 27 cents and she barely got anything guys look how much she puts me to shame guys like she spends all of her money and just watches me use my coupons i actually made money and she just spends money and then she doesn't even want to use coupons what do you have to say for yourself tiffany Leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, so Walmart number one was a success. Guys, I have on my shirt today, phone, keys, coupons, check, 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 OCC, gang. Yeah, so I knew it was gonna be a success. Not really, I didn't know. But, cause things can go crazy at Walmart, but I'm happy that they went the way that I was hoping they would go. Let's go to another Walmart. I'm feeling like we can do big things today. And Tiffany's here. So maybe I can get her to at least do an Ibotta deal or like do one coupon at the next Walmart. Guys, tell her in the comments below that she needs to start using coupons, right? Right? So I opened my Ibotta app and I noticed there was a rebate for 10 cents back just for buying anything. So immediately I was able to get a rebate for 10 cents back. I thought that was cool, but if that wasn't cool enough, I also qualified for the L'Oreal rebate twice. Not once, but twice. So both of those rebates together, that was $4.10 that I got back just for shopping. So not only was my total free, but I just made $4.10 at Walmart. If you want to download Ibotta, click the link in the description box to do it. But for now, let's go on to the next store. 
Okay, y'all, now we are going to go to Family Dollar. I have two paper coupons that I want to use. I want to see if they actually work here. They look valid on the product that I'm thinking about, but the product costs less than the coupon. So Family Dollar does not give back overage like Walmart. Um, they don't let you apply it to the rest of your things. They don't give cash back on a gift card like Publix. So it's a little bit different at Family Dollar, but I'm going to run in here anyway and see if these coupons scan and you'll get to see how overage works here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hopefully I'll be in and out. Just walking in. Hope I'll be walking right out. It's cold outside. Oh, clearance. Sorry, clearance has my attention. Okay, so this is what I had my eyes on. It's 175, the big deuce. It's a two-pack. And this coupon we have from a recent insert says two dollars off any one. So let's see big single blade twin blade big comfort three big three razor and there are commas after each of those which leads me to believe that those are kind of individual distinctions so big single blade or twin blade or big comfort three or big three razor pack so i think these would count and they're only 175 but the coupon is for two dollars off now guys i'm telling you family dollar doesn't give overage they won't give me the extra 25 cents if it works if this coupon does qualify with this item now they won't give me 25 cents back what happens at family dollar is well let's see if it works and you guys can see for yourself how it works here at family dollar so i'm just going to take these two with these two coupons and just go up to the register see what happens there's not a line there's usually a line oh my gosh I guess I'll start shopping here there's not even a line let's see might not even work hi good thank you okay guys so just two items and two coupons let's see if they even actually work mm-hmm and so if they do, then I'll end up paying tax, I guess. So, okay, so my total is 25 cents. And is that just a tax? Yes, it is. Yay, and that was just a tax. <laughs> Y'all, when I tell you I am hype about this purchase, about my bag right now, like Family Dollar is becoming a new best friend. You know what I'm saying? Okay, best friend. <laughs> yes, best friend. Let's take a quick look at my receipt. Okay, so easy peasy. I got two of the razors and I used two of the $2 coupons. But I want you guys to pay attention to how overage works here because that's really what the whole point of this is in the first place. So they were $1.75 each. And do you see how the coupon only took off $1.75 for each item? Even though the coupon said $2 off each item, at Family Dollar, they don't give you anything back. Although they will get paid from the manufacturer. For instance, BIC, the company, BIC, they will pay Family Dollar back $2 for each coupon. So the store does get reimbursed from the manufacturer. So Family Dollar will get the $2 back for each coupon. They'll get exactly what the coupon says. But for us, they didn't give us the overage. They only gave us $1.75 off. So they they made 50 cents family dollar made money but at least we got the item and at least they allow coupons that are over the value of the item so at family dollar if you're looking to get money back to pay for other things sorry it's not going to happen but you will get to keep your item for free so that's good at least my total you can see subtotal was zero but florida tax i had to pay 25 cents out of my pocket so tax is okay on something like this 25 cents that wasn't too bad for two packs of razors okay guys are y'all ready to hit another walmart let's do it What's up, OCC gang? Let's play a game. Anybody want to play Guess What Season It Is just by looking at the amount of gunk on my car? Still can't tell? Can you tell by the sound of my voice? Okay, so here at this Walmart, I just hit the jackpot. These herbal essences are ringing up for $1.50 each. I scanned them on the app, and at my store, even though they're marked on sale for $3, they are ringing up only $1.50 each. And I'm going to go ahead and use this $5 off two coupon that we used before. So that's going to make these, again, free. Plus, again, I'm going to be making $2. They're ringing up $1.50 each, and I'll still get $5 off for buying two. So I'll make $2 per two that I buy. So this is going to be a great deal. 
Okay, so I'm walking around looking for something to spend that money on because, like we already should know by now, they don't give money back. So I'm looking for some more clearance to spend that money on. Here's a pro tip. If you ever get overage in your transaction at Walmart, you got to spend it on something, right? Because they don't give cash back. Now, here's a pro tip. Try and spend it on something that is on Ibotta. That way, even if you use your overage on it, you'll still be able to get another rebate from Ibotta. So yeah, you might spend your overage on, let's say if this had a rebate on Ibotta, you spend your overage on this, but Ibotta is gonna give you money. So it's like making your money make money. Never spend your overage on things that you don't need just to get them, or never spend your overage just like, well, I don't know what to get, so I'm just gonna grab this soda by the register or this, this bag of chips by the register. Try to plan and make your money make money. So using it on something that Ibotta is offering another rebate on is even better because you're not paying any money out of your pocket and then you're gonna turn around and get more money right back. Okay, so this is a little off topic, but I was walking around and I noticed that the bras were on clearance for only $2, so definitely check your store. It's definitely a good price if you were looking for a bra. It's totally better than paying full price. So at my store, they're $2. Check yours. There's some other great deals and clearances all around the store. I'm seeing really awesome things like everyone does not have a Victoria's Secret budget. You know what I'm saying? So if this is you and you're like, you know, I don't see myself spending like an arm and a leg for a bra. Some of these are really cute. Like this was $14.94 and now only three bucks. And that's a really cute one. Hold up. And I see one for $1. So yeah, definitely worth checking out the bra section or the lingerie section at your store because hey, everyone is not running to Victoria's Secret trying to spend $75 on one bra. You know what I mean? Okay, so at this point, I keep running into random clearance. Like, it's not the type of stuff I was looking for, but I keep running into, like, random clearance. Like, everywhere I'm looking, I'm seeing children's clothes for, like, a dollar. Um, so much stuff, like, $2 sections for kids, too. This is crazy. And again, remember, I taught you guys before, scan, 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 because a lot of times it's a lot cheaper than it's marked. I'm not going to stop and scan right now because that's not what we're in here to do. But guys, when you see these clearance signs up, some stores have yellow balloons. This one mostly just kind of has those yellow clearance signs. So when you see the yellow, you know automatically, okay, this section is a scannable section. It's time for me to get to work. Okay, because you won't know unless you give it a scan if it's marked correctly or if it's a lot cheaper. Let me know in the comments what you found at Walmart. What was your best find that you scanned and it was like completely cheap and you wanted to just like tell everyone. Okay, so I've literally like walked around the store in a circle and I'm right over here by the YQ yogurt. It's on Ibotta for a free item, so I'm gonna spend some of my overage on this. Basically what that means is Ibotta is telling me that if I buy it for $1.34, they will give me $1.34 right back in cash on my Ibotta account that I can send to my PayPal account and from there I can send it to my bank account. So if I buy this yogurt for $1.34, Ibotta will give me the money right back. But the good thing about it is because I'm going to be getting the herbal essences with coupons, I'll have money left over so I won't have to pay for this yogurt in the first place. So that's another $1.34 that I'm going to be making thanks to Ibotta for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this but that means I still have money left over to spend. So let's see what I'm going to spend that on. So I'm actually carrying everything guys. So yeah, it got kind of awkward. I'm one of those people that when I walk in, I swear I'm not gonna need a cart. So I actually just put the herbal essences and the yogurt in my hands. This is so uncomfortable, like seriously. <laughs> I know I can't be the only one that does this. Okay, so after the yogurt, I think I have roughly $2 left to spend, a little bit over $2, but at the same time, I wanna account for tax. So I'm looking at some of these fermented drinks because there are offers for them on Ibotta. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with one of these, but they're $2.50, so I might go over. But like I said, I have roughly $2. I just kinda have to account for tax. So hopefully I find a drink that's in the price range with the Ibotta offer. But either way, it's still gonna be a money maker. I just feel like I'm making money all the way around because no matter what, I'll just be spending my overage paying a little bit of tax and Ibotta is going to give me the money right back anyway so I don't know if that's me trying to reason with it and make it okay to go over by a few cents but I really don't want to spend that much money the hair color is free and for every two boxes I make two dollars so this is four dollars worth of spendable money in my hands right here and then the yogurt is 134 so that comes out of the four dollars of overage hmm then I have like two something to spend and then tax so I don't know decisions decisions and I know this sounds like extremely cheap but 
I don't want to go over. <laughs> oh well, I don't care if it sounds cheap. Like, free is free, and I want to make money, not spend any. Okay, guys, I'm finally in line, and this is it. This is all of it. These are $1.50 each. Don't forget, even though they say $3, they're $1.50 each, and they should ring up that way. I showed you guys how to scan on the app, so you'll get to see at the register how they ring up. So this is $3 worth. This is $6 worth. But I have $10 worth of coupons. Okay, so that's where that extra $4 comes in. That might be a lot more simple for some people. And then I decided to go with this sparkling drink because the Ibotta offer for it gives back, like, I think like 45 cents so I thought that was pretty cool so I'll get 45 cents back for that one on Ibotta and then this one was 134 but I'll get a dollar 34 back on Ibotta so hopefully I don't go over hopefully I have ten dollars worth of stuff and ten dollars worth of coupons but we'll see once it gets ring up okay so I'm still waiting it's not quite my turn yet it's still somebody else's turn but I'm pretty excited about it and I hope I broke it down enough ways that you can definitely understand it but I'll say it one more time and some of you guys say I repeat it too much but you know you get like brain fog when you're trying to learn something new and a lot of people get brain fog so 150 150 that's three dollars 150 150 that's six dollars and then the drink I forgot how much the drink was we'll see okay yep everything's ringing up just like it's supposed to let's see how much these ring up see 150 I told you okay grand total 10.44 and guess what ten dollars worth of coupons so it looks like i'm going to be taking it looks like i'm going to be paying tax let's see if everything works how it's supposed to coupons are coming off like they're supposed to 44 cents due so that's what i have to pay and then we'll just go and see exactly how much i get back on ibotta oh my gosh guys i had to like stop and like pull over in my own little corner look i'm in a corner that's how serious this is i'm in a corner because i just looked at my total look at that subtotal negative 16 cents i was in the negative oh my gosh it ate up some of the tax check it out my tax was 60 cents but i only paid 44. that's because my total was negative 16 cents so before everything before coupons my total was 984 but i still was able to give my 10 dollars worth of coupons that put me at negative 16 cents wow florida tax was 60 cents and my total due was only 45 cents yes okay i can get out of the corner now but yes i'm excited so now you kind of see how overage works at walmart because in my last video people were like i don't have a Publix," and one girl was even like what's a Publix?" i was like girl bye like you might not know what Publix is but Publix is dear to the hearts of southerners everywhere anyway i'm happy you can do this at walmart guys like there's no reason you shouldn't be couponing. I literally just got a bag worth of stuff for free. And guess what? I'm still going to get paid more money that I can use somewhere else. The last store I bought a paid me. I still haven't used that money yet. This store, they're going to pay me again. And I'll have more money. Like, seriously, are they going to hit me? Are they going to hit me? They're not stopping. They're not stopping. They're not stopping. Wow. Like, seriously? Dude. <laughs> seriously? <laughs> he was going to hit me, y'all. <laughs> if that's your grandpa, get him. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> If that's anybody's dad, like, wow. Anyway, like, am I invisible? Did I get new cloaking powers? Like, that guy was really gonna hit me. Anyway, guys, like, let's go and see how much I make back on Ibotta from this one, and we'll tally it up from how much I made back on Ibotta with the last one. So I went ahead and went on Ibotta and submitted my receipt for the yogurt. It was free. 134 is what I paid at the register, but I got 134 back. So it was completely free. The same with the drink. I paid whatever I paid because Overage took care of most of it and I got 45 cents back. So it was free anyway and I got 45 cents back. Altogether, I made 179 from Ibotta at that second Walmart. Now, if we look at the 179 that I made from the second Walmart and if we combine it with the $4.10 that I made at the first Walmart, altogether for the day, I made $5.89 all free. So somebody's going to say, what about the tax? Well, at that first Walmart, I spent 42 cents in Florida tax. And then at the second Walmart, 44 cents. That brings me up to 86 cents in tax. And I definitely don't want to forget what I spent at Family Dollar in tax, which was 25 cents. That brings me down to $1.11 total for tax for the day. If we subtract that from the $5.89 that I made, I still made $4.78 in cash. And I definitely plan on spinning it on the next video.